Okay, hi, still at the Chili Festival. Now I'm gonna meet JJ from Somerset Chili Company. And they've only been going like 10 months, yeah? They're really new source makers. So I'm gonna ask JJ to talk to you about what inspired him to be, you know, be here today with a whole range of sources. JJ, over to you, tell us about yourself. Hey guys, how you doing? So my name is JJ. I'm from Bath in Somerset. Um, where do I start? So what, what inspired me to get into making sauces? I guess I've always had love of hot sauce. Got a little Tabasco tattoo there I've had for a fair few years and um, I've, I've, I've traveled the world, I've worked in different countries, I came back and I just I was frustrated with the lack of hot sauce on the market. Lockdown had just happened, I really wanted a pineapple sauce, I didn't have time to order online so I just made one. This is actually, this was the inspiration, the first, order, the first sauce I made, La Playa, which is Spanish for the beach, pineapple, kiwi, passion fruit and fatali chili. And this is yeah. This is this is really why I started it, and, and the, it's nice. The Very rest cool. of the range it, it followed really, but yeah, that I would say it's like middle of the range spice, um, maybe a little bit spicy for for some. So that's why I began. I've made the full range. So what what we have here is we go from zero heat all the way to in insanity basically. I mean, most people. I do actually make one that's double the heat. I don't have it with me, but I'll um, I'll quickly go through them with you. So. Narco, this one has zero heat. It's a play on me as Escobar. It's coconut, lime, and padrone pepper. You find it in Spanish tapas, typically. Um, so not officially a chili, but we'll let you get away with it if you say that's your favorite. Next, we have Blackberry Lane. This is blackberry, guava, and habanero. It steps up on the heat scale. And Blackberry Lane was the road I, I grew up on. And nice. that's the inspiration for this sauce. I'd say as well, um, this goes really well as a salad dressing, as a compote on fish. Um, it's, it's quite like an all-rounder sauce. You can even use it in, in a cocktail if you want some gin in that and, and make it with um, a mojito as well. Blackberry and guava mojito would not go amiss. Let's go to the next one. Marley. This is a Jamaican-inspired sauce. That is also our dog, Marley. And it's got the classic pineapple, mango and scotch bonnet flavors that you'd find in a Jamaican hot sauce. Yeah, I'm sure it's Bob Marley, yeah. Bob Marley, yeah. This, it's, it, it could be a pet as well. It's a, it's a, little, play, it's yeah. a, little, a little play on both of them, to be honest. Bob Marley, he's, he's, he's definitely still inside there yeah. somewhere. And then, yeah, as, as I touched on earlier, um, La, La Playa, pineapple, passion fruit, kiwi, and fatali. Fatali is an ex exotic, rare chili. When you slice it open, it tastes like a fruit, or it smells like a fruit, sorry. It tastes like a spicy fruit. And it's, it goes really well on chicken, um, on, a, on a fried breakfast as well would be like one of my go-tos. As we're stepping it up, got the penultimate one here, Compton Dando, sort of a play on, that's me, sort of um, Compton style in, in Los Angeles, but also Compton Dando, the Somerset village. So I got your little farmer there as well. And that is orange grapefruit and peach ghost. That one goes really well on duck, chicken, as a salad dressing, or even in a Paloma chili cocktail, orange grapefruit and tequila. Sounds good actually. Oh, yeah, this, yeah, this, yes. this one is it's really nice. It's being very used in... Very very fresh, isn't it, for all the drinks that you can Yeah, have. and like if, if you like, as we turn the bottle a little bit, you can see it's home kitchen made. All the sauces are vegan, gluten-free, nothing artificial. Yeah. You got our story here, um, a little picture, a uh, little drawing of me, and if you scan the QR code, it gives you ideas of what of what you can use the sauces with. Brilliant, awesome. And then if we go up again, we've got the circus, which is strawberry, mango, and the famous Carolina Reaper. Um, it's in the Guinness Book of World Records. I know Pepper X is spicier, but according to the Guinness Book of World Records, we're going with Carolina Reaper, and this is named after the circus in Bath and also the journey the sauce takes you on because it starts off sweet, you think the spice is going to hit you and then bang, the Carolina Reaper comes basically about three seconds afterwards. I do do a triple X version with double the amount of Carolina Reaper but I did not have time to make Shame, it this week. that's the one I was going to buy. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm afraid I just did, I did not have time. No, it's been, know, it's been a very busy week making Let's 700 bottles. Something. Yes, look, yes. This range is very fresh, yeah? Because I've been to quite a lot of stores and I've, and I've, I've talked to a lot of store owners today. When you look at your colours, they're very summery, very fresh. Um, even the blueberry one, because you've got the, the blackberry one, because you've got the guava yeah. in, it's not as dark. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it's almost like, um, I don't know, a very fresh, summery range and lots of fruit in it. Yeah, I'm 
re I'm like re really proud to showcase this range. I felt it was really like important just to have like I find like not all hot sauces show like the variation of heat. I yeah. feel like sometimes like chili sauce has a bad name for just being pain. I have I even when I spoke to someone in Sainsbury's who was serving mm -hmm. me and like speaking to about he says he's never even heard of hot sauce. He goes, Oh I think it is it's it's different it's, because you would find when you come to festivals like this, you have a better understanding of what sauce is because there's sauce Definitely. makers like yourself that you're here and then you'll be selling online, etc. And unless you get a deal with ASA or Tesco's or whoever to stock your sauces, you may not go that route because you know yeah. it's, you're doing it differently, yeah. And exactly. before anyone comes to a chili festival, they don't appreciate how much there is, and there's so much. And all of these, every single one of these sauces. And guys, you know how much I like my so fruity sauces is ice cream, yeah? You can shove them on ice cream, I think pancakes, all of those sweeties because these are fresh. And obviously glazes on your barbecue, your meat and everything because you're going to have that fruity t taste going to it. But, you know, drizzle it on things. Waffles, yeah? Ice cream, waffles, pancakes, a bit of fruit and that, it'd, be, it'd be perfect. So, um, I think that, yeah, so try it with fruit because a lot of these fruity ones, any, I mean, you can, you can do it at home. You can just get a bowl of ice cream, drizzle three or four sauces, Put your bottles next to it, put a picture out on Instagram to say I've tried it with such and such ice cream yeah. and it's nice because you're going to have your fruit from there but your heat from there and that that heat and it's nice isn't it? I think ice cream is the only thing mm. I haven't had hot sauce with and I don't know why. I really don't you know need why. To try that. I need, need to, to I've, really I've, let me try that. You know, yeah. I think you're the third person to yeah. tell me that. It just, the weather hasn't allowed for ice cream yet. As soon as the next, as soon as the sun comes out next, yeah. I reckon I'm going to go for the circus. I've been doing ice cream actually, already, yeah. The blackberry and guava wouldn't go miss as well, maybe at a boat.